Learning meaningful visual representations can facilitate generalization in acquiring manipulation skills. In this work, we present a semi-supervised representation learning approach we call as motion to vec motion to vec is used for action segmentation in pose imitation of a surgical suturing task on the Vinci robot arm from publicly available suturing videos. Learning meaningful skills from videos is challenging due to difference in correspondences between the videos and the robot environment, not to mention the variations in uncontrolled variables such as lighting, background, and camera viewpoint. Motion to VEC extracts invariant state representations from videos to infer meaningful hidden associations between the objects and the environment in a way similar to how word to VEC and grass to VEC models are used for language and grasping. Visual's application to surgical suturing from publicly available videos in the, in the Jigsaw's dataset. Surgical suturing automation has been studied in several contexts, such as collaborative human robot interaction, trajectory transfer via non-rigid registration and simulation, needle path planning, and action segmentation. In this work, we apply the motion to vec approach to infer action segments and end effector poses on the Da Vinci robot arms from the suturing videos of the Jigsaw's dataset. Sample and time complexity of autonomous skill acquisition from visual observations can be rather high. Learning in simulation provides a feasible approach. However, real-world tasks such as surgical suturing can be hard to simulate with high fidelity. Self-supervised and meta-learning approaches are gaining popularity for skill acquisition in a more trackable manner. These methods range from large-scale pre-trained models to pixel-wise dense correspondence methods to time-contrasted networks. In this work, we leverage upon available suturing videos as structured task priors for imitation. In contrast to learning from scratch, these videos provide a strong signal as a reward function for imitation and further online improvement. Consistency, interpretability, and supervisory burden, however, are a key concern as it is often difficult to characterize what actions or subtasks are being performed and labeling can be time consuming for semantic imitation. On one end of the spectrum, we have self-supervised approaches that yield continuous embedding using multiple views or time as an underlying signal. Continuous embedding, however, can confound real segments. On the other hand, supervised approaches rely on explicit discrete action segment labels, such as reach, grasp, or pixel-wise dense labeling of objects for manipulation. Motion to VEC encodes the observations with weak supervision using a small set of action segment labels and combines it with unlabeled data that allows better generalization and interpretability in new situations. The main problem addressed in this paper is to learn invariant state representations from surgical videos for downstream tasks of action segmentation and pose imitation. The learn segments are encoded as a set of behavioral instructions in a state machine for robot imitation. In the first stage, we learn an invariant low dimensional embedding space from videos by minimizing a metric learning and a sequence learning loss. The embedding space is further used for prediction of action segments and pose imitation in the context of surgical suture. Given the mini batch of image sequence, we first sample triplets from the label observation comprising of an anchor, a positive sample belonging to the same class as that of anchor, and a negative class randomly chosen from another class. The triplet loss brings similar images belonging to the same class together in an embedding space by pushing away samples from other classes as represented here with a two-dimensional TSNE plot. After pre-training the Siamese network, we trained the sequence model as a recurrent neural network from the labeled embedded observation sequences. The trained models are then used to infer the most likely pseudo labels for the unlabeled images. The pseudo labels and the un embedding space are subsequently updated with metric and sequence learning in an iterative manner. The embedded observations are then used to learn the control policy for pose imitation. In this work, we use the suturing videos of the Jigsaw's dataset for action segmentation and pose imitation on the Da Vinci robot arms. The dataset consists of 78 videos obtained from eight surgeons performing the suturing task five times each. We use four demos from each surgeon for training, while the remaining fifth one is used in the test set. 
Note that the camera viewpoint, lighting, and background changes slightly across demonstrations, while the suturing style and the temporal duration of the task changes significantly across surgeons. We perform experiments to empirically investigate what metric and sequence learning approaches generalize better in terms of segmentation accuracy. We use incremental PCA, TCC, and SVTCN for unsupervised metric learning, and HMM and HSMMs for unsupervised sequence learning. Supervised metric learning approaches include n pairs and triplet loss, while supervised sequence learning is done with CRFs and RNNs. Details of training and evaluation of these methods can be found in the paper. Further, we investigate the effect of relative proportion of labeled examples in, in semi-supervised learning and the usefulness of learned embe embeddings in pose imitation on the da Vinci robot. The results here indicate the segmentation accuracy with different combinations of metric and sequence learning. The top half is unsupervised, while the bottom half makes use of the discrete image labels. N2VT combines supervised triplet loss with unsupervised time contrastive loss for better nearest neighbor accuracy in the embedding space. We make two observations with unsupervised and supervised sequence learning approaches. First, single view TCN performs better among the compared unsupervised metric learning approaches. Second, motion to VEG gives consistently better performance with all supervised and unsupervised sequence learning approaches. The confusion matrix on the test set indicates that motion to VEG with triplet loss and RNN gives state of the art segmentation results. For comparison with other methods in the literature, please refer to the extended version of the paper. Here we qualitatively compare the motion to VEC embeddings with incremental PCA, TCC, and SVTCN. We observe that incremental PCA gives inconsistent spatiotemporal clusters, TCC aligns in time but ignores the spatial dependencies, single view TCN trades off between spatial and temporal grouping by picking a positive example in the temporal neighborhood of the anchor example, whereas motion to VEC preserves the spatiotemporal grouping of the action segments in the videos. To evaluate the effect of unlabeled examples in semi-supervised learning, we increase the percentage of labeled demonstrations in the training set from one to all 62 demonstrations and use the remaining demonstrations as unlabeled data. We observe that motion to VEC performs better than competing self-supervised approaches with 25% or more labeled data. These results suggest that time-driven self-supervised approaches can leverage upon a small set of labeled examples to semantically align the embedding space. The pose imitation results here suggest that we get comparable performance of motion to VEC as decoding from raw images in terms of the cosine quaternion loss and the mean square error in tracking the end effector positions. However, motion to VEC is more robust to perturbations in pose imitation than decoding from raw images alone. The video here shows the kinematic imitation of a suturing video shown in bottom right on the da Vinci robot arms. Note that we do not model the contact dynamics with the needle and the suturing phantom and only imitate the suturing motions on the kinematic level. Motion to VEC projects the streaming video to the embedding space, and subsequently decodes the images to the action segments and the end effector poses for imitating the suturing task. In future world, we plan to close the loop on the robot policy from the embedded video ob observations. We are also interested in providing useful feedback for training and assistance in remote sur surgical procedures. Our ongoing work features motion to work in multitask environments where a library of learned invariant segments are used for imitation in accordance with the demonstrated task. A number of promising directions have evolved from this work. First, there is an inherent coupling between the two arms, suggesting the need for bimanual coordination in the planning stage. Second, it may be useful to minimize the domain discrepancy between the videos and the real robot environment, such as with adversarial learning methods. Finally, the cyclic nature of suturing tasks calls for learning the compositional structure of the action segments. Please visit the website for supplementary details and code. We welcome any feedback on the problems and the contributions addressed in this paper.